Hi Virgo, welcome to your June Tarot Forecast with me. My name is Brooke and welcome to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign. In this video, because some months your rising sign or your moon sign will have more to say in your given life situation rather than your sun sign primarily. If you're not sure what your moon sign or your rising sign is, there's many websites online that can calculate as long as you have your time of birth. So just keep that in mind. So thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't already for future updates for any new videos that I do upload. And Virgo, I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck for your month's reading. So let's get started. The first card that we see in your theme or atmospheric position is justice. And you seem to have a great undertaking this month, Virgo, when it comes to perhaps something of a legal nature. So justice can very much be applied to the courts, legal matters, legal proceedings. This can be in terms of settlements, this could be in terms of estates, this could be in terms of divorce, decrees, separation, some form of legality, legalities for Virgo, possibly in the month of June. This also could be very applicable to restoring justice as well as restoring equality and balance in a given situation. However it applies to your life, Virgo, because this is a general reading. So justice is very much, as a major arcana card, trumping your reading in that position in your theme. So there's many factors that Virgo may have to weigh carefully this month in order to make a great decision in the month of June. So the message is, is to very much be cautious, but deliberate carefully when it comes to proceeding or if you're in the middle of proceedings, to be very observant as to what's going on around you. There are dealings with litigation, perhaps, or dealings with the law in particular. And when justice appears, it's very much notifying Virgo that fairness and balance about a matter are very much about coming into fair play. So this could even run the gamut not only from legal matters, this could be karmically as well. And I spoke about that in my daily tarot reading on Thursday, June 2nd, because I just get the sense for the month of June, many people are finding karmic retribution or there's going to be some sort of karmic restoration. So if you've been waiting for karma, to come in and to right a wrong, you may even receive something like an apology from someone who may own up to what they did uh, that was wrong to you in the past. So you may even be witness to something resolving itself or coming full circle for you, Virgo, in the month of June. So going forward from this, this Queen of Swords <laughs> has been stalking most of the signs this month for some reason and oftentimes you will either see a particular card and a lot of times you'll see a particular court card continuously show up in these general readings and it may indicate a person but also may indicate qualities or characteristics that either yourselves Virgo or this could indicate someone else so the Queen of Swords is stalking June. <laughs> she's the stalker of June. And the Queen of Swords comes in because she's very useful. She could possibly be an air sign female, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But the Queen of Swords is traditionally known as the Widow. She's traditionally known as someone who has experienced struggle or sorrow. So this could also indicate a woman who has been divorced, been widowed, gone through divorce proceedings, or this even could indicate the feelings of being 
uh, wronged in some manner as well. But she's one that makes very clear, firm, concise decisions. She doesn't mince words, so she can come across as being very stoic in her manner. But there's a purpose to her as well. So this could be an actual female in your lives this month, Virgo, especially coming out of the most recent past. Or this could be the characteristics that perhaps you need to take on in this given situation that is being validated to you for the month of June. We see following her the Ten of Swords, which is in your present energy at the moment. The Ten of Swords looks, you know, quite grotesque and pretty much sums it up. So there's been a final ending or there's been some form of perhaps betrayal, disappointment. There also could have been disillusionment. There's a feeling of literally being stabbed in the back or the feelings thereof. Virgo's definitely come across or been up against some form of low vibrational energy that could perhaps be generated from this Queen of Swords and or from a given situation because with justice, it's very much indicating that something's definitely been wronged for Virgo that is definitely going to be righted in the month of June. So the Ten of Swords is very much a completion card indicated by the number 10 and it's one where something's ending enabling Virgo to move on and move forward into something beginning. So with that disappointment or with that perhaps ending of some kind, and I don't really get the sense that this is some sort of romantic thing for Virgo. It seems as if it's a larger event or a larger situation. This could be with an employer. This could be in the home. This could be in partnerships, business partnerships. This could even be your neighbor next door. I mean, this can run the gamut because it is a general reading. But because of this, Virgo, many of you may be hesitant or resistant to or resisting to do what you need to do that's necessary because of financial strain or financial worry. In your challenge position, we see the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is very much a card of feeling abandoned. This could be the feelings of emotional abandonment or going on or having to take things on alone. This is also a card of financial strain. So there may not be the resources for the month of June for many of those that are watching of being able to perhaps pay the court costs for divorce or to pay the court costs to take someone to court. So that may be applicable as well. There also may be feelings of being down and out in this situation or, you know, it's cheaper for you to keep uh, something continuing to go on even though it's draining your pockets and instead of, you know, taking the right course of action in terms of possibly legal proceedings because then that will be way more expensive. So something's very much about uncertainty surrounding the situation. And at the same time, the messages for, for Virgo is to remain faithful, to not lose hope or to lose faith in this situation. You may feel like you've been left out in the cold. You may be under strain financially. And you may feel like this is kind of a hard period. But if you are financially secure, perhaps maybe going through this period of perhaps, for example, divorce or separation, you realize that perhaps having a relationship or a marriage is not all about buying the person gifts and buying the person's love. So that's another side of that card as well. Or that may be coming to you from another person. So right now, there may be confining things in your life that you may not be able to spend money on or to put into that you would like to concerning the situation. 
but now's also not a good time to as well to take risks in order to lose more money when it comes to this situation as well. So the message is spiritually the comfort is to not lose faith or lose hope and that's where your challenge lies to not lose faith and to lose hope in this given situation now ending your reading we see another major arcana card which is the hanged man and the hanged man is very much about uncertainties but what are you willing to sacrifice in order to make great change what major decision do you have to make this month Virgo many of you may still be up in the air about that towards month end but you may also be finding yourself with some form of resolution coming in with justice so the hanged man is very much about what are you willing to risk what are you willing to sacrifice to make a major decision in your life many of you may not be willing to do that yet in order to proceed with something as well so the current energies are definitely something of something that's basically ended for Virgo on some kind of level and the wisdom is is to not take another risk uh, and then experience more fallout from this as well so there may be suspended action in the month of June and there may also be a call to action or a new perspective on on what's going on so be very flexible Virgo and you may have to adapt as well when it comes to this situation and if there seems to be a sacrifice that you need to make and may be made for the greater good especially if it involves other people so for example you have uh, people if you're the boss the supervisor you know there's employees that aren't making it to work they're calling in all the time you're losing money so is it cheaper to lay them off or let them go and have to cover unemployment compensation or is it more expensive or is it more cheaper or less expensive for you to keep them on either way there's going to be a risk involved for Virgo so that's just an example so you may also find yourself contemplating this and taking some sort of rest from uh, you know flying off the handle and just taking quick swift action I don't see that for Virgo this month as well and if you do do that many people may not understand where you're coming from so good luck to you Virgo please keep me posted have a great month your readings very empowering It's definitely trying to help you and usher you into making a, the best decision for yourself in this situation so good luck for go keep me posted if you'd like to book a private reading check out my website nightbirdterra.weebly.com and have a fabulous month many blessings and much peace and I'll speak to you soon